Hello and welcome to quiz class. Today we have 100 questions on nostalgia. And let's take a look at our quiz class awards. And here they are. Let us know how you rank in the comments. And we will be looking at six different categories today. And our categories are movies, music, TV, literature, personalities, sports, and athletics. And let's begin with movies. Question one. Who directed the 1956 movie The Searchers? Alfred Hitchcock, Billy Wilder, or John Ford? John Ford. Which movie features Marilyn Monroe, Tony Curtis, and Jack Lemmon? Lawrence of Arabia, Some Like It Hot, or Psycho? Some Like It Hot. In the 1960 movie Psycho, who manages the motel? Atticus Finch, Norman Bates, or T. E. Lawrence? Norman Bates. Who directed the movie Lawrence of Arabia? David Lean, Francis Ford Coppola, or Robert Mulligan? David Lean. Based on Harper Lee's novel, which movie tells the tale of Scout Finch, Jem Finch, and their father, Atticus? The Exorcist, The Godfather, or To Kill a Mockingbird? To Kill a Mockingbird. Who directed the movie The Godfather? Alfred Hitchcock, Francis Ford Coppola, or Roman Polanski? Francis Ford Coppola. In the movie One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, who is the tyrannical head nurse at the mental institution? Nurse Shabby, Nurse Ratchet, or Nurse Wicket? Nurse Ratchet. Which movie is the sequel to Star Wars? The Extraterrestrial, The Empire Strikes Back, or The Dark Father and the Half-Blood Jedi? The Empire Strikes Back. In the movie E.T. The Extraterrestrial, who forms the bond with the gentle alien? Oscar, Luke, or Elliot? Elliot. Who directed the movie Schindler's List? Steven Spielberg, Martin Scorsese, or James Cameron? Steven Spielberg. In the movie Goodfellas from 1990, who is the main character? Randall Patrick Murphy, Henry Hill, or Clarice Starling? Henry Hill. Who directed the movie Chinatown? Milos Forman, Irvin Kirshner, or Roman Polanski. Roman Polanski. Who directed the 1979 movie Apocalypse Now? Alfred Hitchcock, David Lean, or Francis Ford Coppola? Francis Ford Coppola. 
In the movie Silence of the Lambs, who does Clarice Starling seek advice from? Buffalo Bill, Hannibal Lecter, or Skynet? Hannibal Lecter. Who directed the movie Jurassic Park? <clears throat> Clint Eastwood, Martin Scorsese, or Steven Spielberg? Steven Spielberg. And let's move to music. Which song denounces lynching and showcases the power of socially conscious music? Boogie Woogie Bugle Boy, Strange Fruit, or In the Mood? Strange Fruit. Which song resonated emotionally with audiences during wartime and was featured prominently in Casablanca? White Christmas, Johnny Be Good, or As Time Goes By? As Time Goes By. Which song encapsulates themes of friendship and love and continues to touch listeners five decades later? Stand By Me, what I Say, or California Dreamin'. Stand By Me. Which song helped cement Jim Morrison and The Doors as key figures in 1960s rock with layered instrumentals and psychedelia? Light My Fire, Hey Jude, or California Dreamin'. Light My Fire. Which song demonstrates Led Zeppelin's virtuosity and creativity with progressively building crescendos? Imagine Hotel California or Stairway to Heaven. Stairway to Heaven. Which song inspires reflection upon humanity's capacity for unity and equality and is idealistic yet poignant? Imagine, Hey Jude, or The Story. Imagine. Which song delivers optimism packaged in arena rock anthemic style with uplifting vocals and driving piano lines? Don't Stop Believing, Hotel California, or Every Breath You Take. Don't Stop Believing. Which song raised standards for modern pop music with innovative bass lines, synthetic percussion, and falsetto vocals? Sweet Child of Mine, Purple Rain, or Billie Jean? Billy Jean. Which song quickly gained popularity and contributed to swing music success? In the Mood, Boogie Woogie Bugle Boy, or Strange Fruit? Boogie Woogie Bugle Boy. Which song is considered one of rock and roll's founding tracks and introduced electrifying guitar work and energetic rhythms to the genre? Stand By Me, What I Say, or Johnny Be Good? Johnny Be Good. Which song defined the era and set dance floors ablaze during the early 1940s? Fruit, What I Say, or in the mood. In the mood. Which song symbolizes social transformation during the mid 1960s and representative of the folk revival movement? California Dreamin', What I Say, or The Times They Are Changing? The times, they are changing. 
Which song offers comfort and encouragement wrapped in memorable hooks and sing-alongs and spans nearly seven minutes long? Bohemian Rhapsody, Hey Jude, or Light My Fire? Hey Jude. Which song explores materialism and discontent and is, emblem and is emblematic of 1970s soft rock? Stairway to Heaven, Hotel California, or Don't Stop Believin'? Hotel California. Which song captured the essence of blossoming counterculture movements and inspired sunshine pop and dreamy melodies? California Dreamin', California Girls, or California King Bed? California Dreamin'. And let's move to television. What pioneering sitcom features Lucille Ball as a zany housewife living in New York City with her Cuban musician husband? I Love Lucy, Days of Our Lives, or The Twilight Zone? I Love Lucy. Who hosted and narrated the anthology series presenting standalone episodes revolving around science fiction, horror, and supernatural concepts? Carol O'Connor, Adam West, or Rod Serling? Rod Serling. Which campy live action adaptation of DC Comics Dark Knight featured colorfully costumed villains? Facing off against Batman and Robin. MASH, Happy Days, or Batman? Batman. Which controversial sitcom tackled serious subjects often reflecting societal issues prevalent during the 70s? Cheers, All in the Family, or Roots? All in the Family. Which medical drama comedy focused on army doctors working at a mobile surgical hospital during the Korean War? Days of Our Lives, Hill Street Blues, or MASH? MASH. Which beloved sitcom centered around Richie Cunningham, his friends, and family? Cheers, Hill Street Blues, or Happy Days? Happy Days. Which Western followed the adventures of the Cartwright family? Three generations residing together. Bonanza, Batman, or All in the Family? This was during the 1860s. Bonanza. Which landmark miniseries recounted the saga of African-American slaves sold from Africa to America and their descendants throughout several generations? Magnum P.I., Miami Vice, or Roots? Roots. Which Boston bar-based comedy garnered acclaim thanks to its strong ensemble cast and clever writing? Cheers, Days of Our Lives, or Friends? Cheers. Who were the main characters in the Western series Bonanza? Adam West, Bert Ward, Carol O'Connor, Sally Struthers, Rob Reiner, Lauren Green, Dan Blocker, Pernell Roberts, Michael Landon. And it was the last one, Lauren Green, Dan Blocker, Pernell Roberts, and Michael Landon. Which TV series centered around private investigator Thomas Magnum? Magnum P.I., P.I., John Smith, or Fire Fist? Magnum P.I. Which series explored the dynamic partnership between Maddie Hayes and Dave Addison? 
cloud nine, silver lining, or moon lighting. Moon lighting. Where did the Golden Girls take place? Alaska, Miami, or Hawaii? Miami. Who was the main character in MacGyver? Angus MacGyver, Jerry MacGyver, or Sam MacGyver? Angus MacGyver. What was the main focus of Seinfeld? Criminal investigation and courtroom trials, fish out of water experiences in Alaska, or everyday trivial events? Everyday trivial events. And let's move on to literature. What novel explores class relations and romance? 1984, To Kill a Mockingbird, or Pride and Prejudice? Pride and Prejudice. In which book does a literature professor have a fixation on an adolescent girl? The Odyssey, Lolita, or Frankenstein? Lolita. What novel investigates guilt and redemption? Candide, The Odyssey, or Crime and Punishment? Crime and Punishment. In which epic maritime novel is a white whale hunted? Ulysses? Moby Dick or The Odyssey? Moby Dick. Question 50. What novel chronicles a multi-generational saga in Latin America? 100 Years of Solitude, Brave New World, or Slaughterhouse-Five? One Hundred Years of Solitude. Which book explores the African perspective on colonialism? Beloved, Down the Rabbit's Hole, or Things Fall Apart? Things Fall Apart. What novel encompasses high fantasy in Middle Earth? Slaughterhouse Five, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, or The Lord of the Rings. The Lord of the Rings. Which book reveals institutional abuse in psychiatric treatments? Slaughterhouse Five, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, or Christmas of Matt Jacobs. One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. In which novel does a dystopian surveillance state exist? 1984, Moby Dick, or 100 Years of Solitude? Nineteen eighty four. Which book explores the consequences of scientific hubris? Candide, Frankenstein, or Don Quixote? Frankenstein. What book recreates Homer's Odyssey in contemporary Dublin? Brave New World, The Odyssey, or Ulysses? Ulysses.
Which novel presents a futuristic utopia where conformity reigns supreme? One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, The Lord of the Rings, or Brave New World? Brave New World. Which novel satirically portrays Soviet Russia? Animal Farm, Moby Dick, or The Great Gatsby? Animal Farm. What novel depicts the decadence and disillusionment of 1920s America? 100 Years of Solitude, The Great Gatsby, or America Then? The Great Gatsby. Question 60. In which book does a traumatized soldier become unstuck in time? One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, Slaughterhouse-Five, or The Lord of the Rings? Slaughterhouse-Five. And let's move to people and personalities. Who is known for developing the theory of general relativity? Albert Einstein, Isaac Newton, or Nikola Tesla? Albert Einstein. Who was a respected leader of India's independence movement? Marie Curie, Margaret Thatcher, or Mahatma Gandhi? Mahatma Gandhi. Who abolished slavery and preserved the Union during the Civil War? Abraham Lincoln, James Buchanan, or John F. Kennedy? Abraham Lincoln. Who was a groundbreaking scientist responsible for pioneering research in radioactivity? Charles Darwin, Frida Kahlo, or Marie Curie? Marie Curie. Who fought against racism and discrimination in South Africa? Martin Luther King, Nelson Mandela, or Rosa Parks? Nelson Mandela. Who formulated the laws of motion and universal gravitation? Galileo Galilei, Isaac Newton, or Nikola Tesla? Isaac Newton. Who proposed a theory of biological evolution driven by natural selection? Charles Darwin, Plato, or Tom Cruise? Charles Darwin. Who is a Mexican painter known for self-portraiture? Florence Nightingale, Frida Kahlo, or Rosa Parks? Frida Kahlo. Who was an inspirational Baptist minister and civil rights activist promoting equal rights using nonviolent methods? Julius Caesar, Martin Luther King Jr., or Rosa Parks? Martin Luther King Jr. Question 70. Who was the legendary composer revered for transforming Western classical music through talent, skill, and emotive depth? James Buchanan, Vincent van Gogh, or Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart? Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. Who was the foremost playwright and poet whose works continue to shape English literature? Anne Frank, Rosa Parks, or William Shakespeare?
William Shakespeare, who was a distinguished writer celebrated for minimalist prose and profound exploration of masculinity, love, and bravery. Anne Frank, Ernest Hemingway, or Julius Caesar. Ernest Hemingway. Who was the courageous African-American seamstress refusing to surrender her bus seat to a white person in Montgomery, Alabama? Rosa Parks, Jane Austen, or Anne Frank? Rosa Parks. Who was the tormented Dutch post-impressionist artist known for vivid paintings expressing, expressing turbulent emotions? Da Vinci, Van Gogh, or Salvador Dali? Vincent Van Gogh. Who was the trailblazing Italian astronomer and philosopher advancing knowledge of the cosmos? Nikola Tesla, Galileo Galilei, or Franz Florence Nightingale? Galileo Galilei. And let's move to sports and athletics. Who won four gold medals in track and field at the 1936 Berlin Olympics? Jesse Owens, Usain Bolt, or Roger Federer? Jesse Owens. Who proved that women could compete with men by winning the highly publicized Battle of the Sexes tennis match in 1973? Billie Jean King, Serena Williams, or Martina Navratilova? Billie Jean King. Which Jamaican sprinter set world records in relay races at the 2008 Beijing Olympics? Castor Semenya, Virat Kohli, or Usain Bolt? Usain Bolt. Who led the Chicago Bulls to six NBA championships and is considered one of the greatest basketball players of all time? Kobe Bryant, LeBron James, or Michael Jordan? Michael Jordan. Who completed the Serena Slam by winning four consecutive Grand Slam singles from 2002 to 2003? Venus Williams, Serena Williams, or Maria Sharapova? Serena Williams. Which horse set race records in all three legs of the Triple Crown and captured the hearts of Americans in 1973? American Pharaoh, Seabiscuit, or Secretariat? Secretariat. Who delivered a storybook ending to his career with the New York Yankees by hitting a walk-off single in his final game in 2014? Alex Rodriguez, Derek Jeter, or David Ortiz? Derek Jeter. Which underdog U.S. hockey team defeated the heavily favored Soviet Union en route to winning the gold medal at the 1980 Winter Olympics? Dream Team, Miracle on Ice, or Project Redeem Team? Miracle on Ice. Who scored the infamous Hand of God goal in the 1986 World Cup propelling Argentina past England? Diego Maradona, Cristiano Ronaldo, or Lionel Messi? Diego Maradona. Who became the youngest winner of the Masters Tournament in 1997? Tiger Woods, Don Larson, or Wilt Chamberlain? Tiger Woods. 
which NBA player scored 100 points in a single game in 1962? Kylian Mbappe, Wilt Chamberlain, or LeBron James? Wilt Chamberlain. Who pitched a perfect game in the World Series in 1956? Don Larson, Killian Mbappe, or Joe Frazier? Don Larson. Who earned a perfect 10 score at the Montreal Olympics in 1976? Nadia Comaneci, Martina Navratilova, or Virat Kohli? Nadia Comaneci. Who became the first woman to swim the English Channel in 1926? Coco Gauff, Gertrude Ederle, or Venus Williams? Gertrude Ederle. Who defeated Muhammad Ali in a heavyweight title fight in 1971? Joe Frazier, Mike Tyson, or Martina Navratilova? Joe Frazier. And let's move to mystery round. Who released City Lights in 1931 featuring his Little Tramp character? Jim Carrey, Shirley Temple, or Charlie Chaplin? Charlie Chaplin. Which classic comedy did the Marx Brothers debut? Bright Eyes, Duck Soup, or City Lights? Duck Soup. Where did Disneyland open its doors in 1955? Anaheim, California, New York City, New York, or Orlando, Florida? Anaheim, California. Who recorded Johnny B. Good in 1958? Bill Cosby, Bob Dylan, or Chuck Berry? Chuck Berry. Who directed Psycho? Steven Spielberg, Alfred Hitchcock, or Quentin Tarantino? Alfred Hitchcock. When did the Beatles make their Ed Sullivan Show appearance? 1954, 1964, or 1974? 1964. Who became America's sweetheart during the early 1930s? Marilyn Monroe, Martha Stewart, or Shirley Temple? Shirley Temple. When did Star Trek launch its original series run? The 1960s, 1970s, or the 1980s? The 1960s. Who starred as Maria Von Trapp in The Sound of Music? Olivia Newton John, Julie Andrews, or Meryl Streep? Julie Andrews. Which TV show debuted in 1967 and addressed contemporary issues with satirical humor? Saturday Night Live, Monty Python's Life of Brian, or the Smothers Brothers Comedy Hour? 
the Smothers Brothers Comedy Hour. And our bonus question, who starred as Holly Golightly in Breakfast at Tiffany's? Let us know the answer in the comments. And we should see our Einstein rewards. Please tell us how you ranked. And thank you for watching this quiz. Don't forget to subscribe and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.